Hi there, YouTube. How are you doing today? Katia Green here, and today I'm here in one of my studios in San Diego, more uh, actually more specifically East Lake location, and I am going to teach you a super fun class. All right, so. Um, but first, here on YouTube, I'm just going to give you my favorite warm-up. And if you like, and you can see the extended version, which is the full class. You can click on that link right below and you can have access to the full class, okay? So anyways, first of all, before we start, make sure to subscribe and click the belt so you can get notifications as soon as we upload new videos, okay? Also, click that like, comment, because I love to hear from you. So, here I am with my reformer. The foot bar is set on the regular standard um, angle, and we're gonna have a red spring, okay? All right, so let's get started. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start warming up the legs, the knees, the hips, uh, the shoulders. And first things first, I'm going to leave the ball right here for a second. And we're going to start placing your back uh, foot against the shoulder rest on your toes. And then we're going to put your other leg uh, 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 kind of aligned with the other knee. Hands will be on the foot bar. Take a deep breath in. Cue to your client to stay nice and square with the floor and push the carriage. This will give a very nice stretch right there in your hamstring, uh, hip flexors. <laughs> so exhaling, pushing the carriage, inhaling up, and we'll do a few more. Exhale, push the carriage, inhale up, and again. From here, I like to lean forward and extend the leg a little bit to go a little bit deeper. Bend the knee and come back up. In again. Lean forward, extending a little bit deeper. Bend the knee and coming back up. And one more. Extending a little deeper, bending the knee and back up. And this, this was the ball noise, okay? And then I will put my foot a little bit forward a little more, be on my heels for a deeper hamstring stretch. So then I keep the front leg extended and I lean forward that way you don't really need to, you don't put the client in a situation that they will arch their backs, right? Since we're just warming up. Always remember as well that in the warm-up is great to stretch, but you, you want to keep it a dynamic stretch, right? Because you want to cre keep creating that heat. The person is not that yet warmed to go to a static stretch, and that wouldn't be appropriate. So here we go. Good. Next, I'm going to add a little more elements into it, okay? So I'm going to grab the ball and I'm gonna start adding a little bit of torso, neck, and shoulders stretch. So we're gonna go back to the first one where you bend the knee, and then I cue the clients to lift their hands in front, keep looking at the ball, circle the ball as you extend the front knee, keep looking at the ball the whole time, this way you're stretching, you see your torso, your neck, and your shoulder, and making that big circle, harmonizing the movement with the legs, the legs and the arms, right there. All right, and from here, you can do the opposite way as well. Back, front, down, two, and three. So the reason I started this way is because I want to explain, I, I want to teach a little more complicated one with these straps. And if you don't give the little, um, this little routine demonstration how the arm should go, 
Some clients will not get it and they can even hurt themselves on their shoulders because they keep pushing with the arms. So let's go to the next one that I was actually intending to do. That's why I used the ball. And that is by grabbing these straps. So, so this one gets a little harder to cue to the client, but again, so this is how I do. I tell them to not think about the arm at all and just do the first one we did again, pushing out and in, okay? And then I tell them to stay low here, right here, and then extend the arm. See, my loops are short here on in East Lake, so you're not gonna be able to extend the arm in front like you did with the ball. Don't fight with the strap, just extend harmon harmonically as out as you can. Then you keep looking to the fingertips, lift as high as possible. Abs activated, right? Of course. And then as you extend the front knee, you just allow your arm to follow. Like in a dance when the lady follows the gentleman, that's it. The gentleman would be the legs, the arms, the lady. So here we go. Keep looking and down. See? And up. This feels uh, so good, guys. It feels delicious, really. It's, oh my God, such a good stretch. As long as you don't fight with the strap, you just keep the strap tied the whole time. And here we go. All right, I do not do the, the opposite way because this, you could do it, but um, I see the clients having a real hard time. So I just do that way from, from front, up, and back. That's how I prefer doing this one. Anyways, uh, so now we're gonna move and do everything on the other side. So let's go, grab the ball. Again, foot against the shoulder rest on your toes. The other leg is just aligned on the same spot as this leg here. And here we go, we're gonna push. Oh, the ball stays on the first one, not need the ball. So we're just gonna push and up, pushing the foot bar away. And two, you're pushing the carriage with the back leg. In three, and again. And now we're gonna extend the front knee, lower the chest, feels so good. I love starting with this stretch too. Inhale. Exhale, push, extend the front knee and bend. Then, just like I did on the other side, I'm going to move my leg a little bit more in front, place my heel on the floor, toes up, and just, oh yeah, up and down. For three, oh yeah, feels good. <laughs> and two, and one, grabbing the ball, Going down like the first one, stretch here with the lunge, lifting the arm in front, looking around, making that big circle for one. We're just gonna do four today. Two, you do as many repetitions you feel is adequate, you know, like that is appropriate for your class. And then reverse. I usually do like eight. And two, and three, keep looking at the ball the whole time. And four, ooh, yeah. And then we go for the strap. So once again, it takes a while, guys, to cue this correctly to the client. 
Okay, so be patient with the process because it's really, uh, depending on the size of the class, it's really hard to help them with this one. They do get very confused. So as I said, I leave the loop. I, I go like, just imagine there's a dog on a leash. Don't worry about so much. Just go up and down, right? Just stretch and then stay as low as you can. Extend your arm out as out as you can, not pushing against, just extending lifting your your arm up keep looking at your fingernails and there you go making that beautiful circle oh my god guys this feels so delicious and three whew, and four and yeah yeah and so um we're the warm-up is gonna keep going a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna teach a few more things I go until we get the heat going. So I'm gonna move here to the first side again. And we're gonna do some flying lunges. Are you familiar with that? So flying lunge is to get started, especially if you have an leg or two, I like to cue them to put their leg, the base leg right here on this black strap. But if you don't have the leg or two, just cue the client to have the leg behind the other leg. See how my knee is here in front a little bit more? Yeah, so the base leg is behind a little bit. And then putting the hand here, abs tight, you're gonna just extend and bend, right? Like, like this, okay? And then after they do this for a while, you're gonna cue them to contract their abs and just lift the body up and then come down in a lunge. Lift the body up, come down two, lift it up. Three, up, and four. And this creates a good cardio, a lot of heat here. From here, you can go to a flamingo. Maybe four more like a flamingo. Abs really tight. I tell them to land very softly. Be very careful on the landing. From here, you can also kick back so you use the glutes. So flex the foot and kick back because you're trying to target the glute on that one. You wanna lead by the heel, so you can, I love pointed toes, don't take me wrong, but you wanna warm up a little bit the booty, you have to lead by the heel to activate the posterior side of the, the leg, and now we're gonna, there's also a side kick. You can go like this, and two, and three, and four, and even more, you can bring your knee towards the other elbow to use some abs, one, like that, and two, and three, so today, and four. So today we're doing only like four for demonstrations reasons, but in that class I do about 10 each. Yeah, I, I, I kill them. I kill them a little bit. <laughs> and then guys, from here, I go for a scooter, so you, the client can either, either put the hand here or not. So stabilizing here, pushing out with the heel. You know, in class I would do about 10 again. And then, look, my heart rate's already high. And then I make a mixture between a, a deadlift and a lunge by having the, the client uh, align the knee with the second toe, touch the floor like this, and then come up, okay? And again, usually we do 10. I'm only gonna do four, so the video, you don't have to watch this forever. <laughs> and one more. And then guys, I add more into it, I do. I take all the springs off and I do the same thing. And it's a completely different feeling. Okay, you gotta try it, it's a lot of balance. I don't even know if I can do it because I'm tired today. But anyways, here we go. Down, up, Woo, for four, down, up for three, 
down, up for two, down, up. Again, I make them do 10. And then again, another scooter here with no, with no springs. 10, uh, just four, right, today. Three, and two, and one, and holy moly, guys, it does work the booty like no other. Let's do the other side. Ooh. So here we go, back to the red spring. Going for it. Whee -whoo. All right, heels against the foot bar and the leg right down that strap, right guys? So, so giving them some cues first to be with the knee off the carriage for this one. They get a little prepared, abs tied, hips square with the floor. And then we start the flying lunge by scoop the belly. Just coming up and lunging for four and three. Landing very softly. Two, one, flamingo. Four, so then you go even higher. Three, landing very softly. Two, shoulder away from ears. One, let's do the butt kicker. <laughs> one, whoo. Two, flexing the foot on this one to really engage the glute, clenching it. Three, and four, the side kick. One, ooh -hoo. and two, and three, and four, crossing over. One, and two, and three, and four, here we go, scooter, right? Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, lunge with RDL. One, touching the floor, knee aligns with the second toe, knees behind the toe. And four, and yeah, 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 yeah. No springs now. <sighs> oh yeah, more balance. One, ooh, and two, and three, and four, and then stay here, right? One, and two, and three, and four. Holy moly. So, this is what I have for you, YouTube. Now, if you want to see the whole class, again, uh, click on the link below. Don't forget to give me that like so I can do more videos for you. And uh, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Thank you so much. See you soon.